Hello, it's Tony from World Spider Designs and welcome to our very first Festive Friday! In this series we're going to be making a ton of Christmas projects all using our sticky roll, stampers roll, transfer roll and precision roll and I can't wait to get started. Our first project is this gorgeous card using our scan and cut and stampers roll. The first thing we need to do is cover our card in stampers roll. So unwind a nice length, place it straight down onto your mat and then place this card straight on top, lining it up along the top of the stampers roll and smooth down. Now trim this away with either a craft knife or a pair of scissors. And then finish the stampers roll. Now I like to use a bone folder to do this, but you can use your hands or a ruler or even your stampers roll. Just go over the top of it like a rolling pin. Trim off the excess, excess even. And then add it to your cutting mat. Now I'm going to show you how to cut at two different depths with your cutting machine. I'm on the Brother Canvas software on my computer and we're going to import the SVG of our design. So if we go to File and Import from your computer, pick the correct SVG file and it starts off live looking like this. So we just need to adjust it by making the fill clear and the line black and then we should be able to see our lovely design. Now we want all the snowflakes and the wording to be kiss cut into the stampers roll but we want the outline of the card to be cut at full depth because that's the front of our card. So if we go over here to layers and what we have to do is find the square that's the outer piece and if we click on the eye it takes away the square so that when we export it over to our cutting machine it won't cut so we'll just put the little lock button on there so we know which square it was and then we're going to go to file export that's just a little warning to say that because it's not showing now then it won't cut out on our machine we press OK, transfer file via the internet, and then we can send it over to our machine. So now we move on to our scan and cut. So you go to pattern, and our little symbol up there, and here it's retrieved our design. And now we need to adjust our blade depth. So if we just release our blade, now as you can see, the last thing that I had in my machine needed a blade depth of six, so when I'm using stampers roll, I tend to put mine just above half. So I'm kiss cutting just into the layer of stampers roll. So we'll put that back in the machine and we can get cutting. Now we've kiss cut our design into our layer of stampers roll. We need to click on all the visibility buttons down the side to remove the parts of the design that we don't want to cut at full depth. So I'm just going to crack on with that. Until all but one of the shapes remains, which is our outside square. And then we repeat the same steps as before, where we export our file to our machine and now we can cut that layer too. So for our next cut which is a full depth cut we've just got to readjust the blade so we're going to go back up to probably five and a half for the weight of card I'm using and get cutting. <laughs> So now that our design's been all cut out by the scan and cut, we can start to remove our pieces of stampers roll. 
Now, if you're struggling to see where the machines cut into the stamper's roll, you can either turn it so the light shines on it a little, or what I find to be a good trick is to take a small amount of ink on one of your blending brushes and just rub it over lightly. And it just brings out the design so that you can more easily see which bits you need to peel off. So now using either a pair of tweezers or a craft knife, simply peel away the parts of the stamper's roll that have been cut by the machine. If you can, try and keep the pieces intact because we can use those on another project later. Just make sure that all the pieces of stamper's roll are lying flat by rolling over it with your roll. And then finally we'll take away the part that will allow us to do our foam matting and layering. Now we apply our inks to the exposed areas. So just load up your brush, start going over the top. And now peel away the stamper's roll. Again, if you do it nice and carefully, we can keep this for another project. And there we have our card with all the stampers roll removed and I think that looks pretty nice but no Christmas card would be complete without a little bit of sparkle so we're just going to add some snow onto the let it snow wording and a few sparkles on some of the snowflakes with our Secura jelly roll pen so just imagine that this is where the snow's landed and it just adds Next little bit of sparkle without it being too much. Keep going around all the letters. centers onto a few random snowflakes just to give it a little sparkle when it moves. You won't do too many go over the top. And then that's ready 
to mount onto a card blank. Complete with faux matting and layering and a nice little bit of sparkle. And there we have our first beautiful Christmas card of the season.